Shahnaz back again with another video and today in this video we'll be talking about dart libraries and uh, we are talk uh, in the previous video we talk we have talked about try and catch block and we are now in the advanced section so create a new file which is known as libraries dot dart let me zoom in a bit yeah so today we'll be using a uh, dart libraries we, uh, we import it and uh, today we'll be talking about input output library that is import dart dot uh, colon io okay so basically if we write a normal program we do like this print hi this is a normal program that is, uh, that is uh, with the main method and a print statement and if we want to import and now in this video we will be talking about that how to take user input as in the previous videos I have not talked about that how to take input from the user but in this video I will be talking about that how to take input from user so you need to import that package sorry uh, you need to import that package and uh, there are a hell lot of libraries that is async cli collection convert developer ffi html index io we will use io for input output and uh, you can also explore many libraries here these are core libraries these are multi-platform libraries and these are native platform libraries and these are web okay in web you use this so dart has a very good documentation go and visit if you have any kind of doubt or you have to explore you can definitely visit uh, i will give this link into the description so go and check it out also so now coming back to the point now we want to take input our name so uh, i will write std out dot write it's like a print statement okay that uh, I will take it that uh, what is your name and I will terminate this sentence then I will take a variable where I will store the name and I will take the input as std in a standard input dot there are many uh, there are two types that is you can take li uh, byte sync or line sync so we are taking line string as we are input uh, uh, importing string into our variable so you, we will use line sync you can see that it's a read a line from stdin so you close it and now i need to modify it the modify the print statement and show you that yeah it's printing so how can i do this yeah I've talked in the previous video that you can do it like this yeah it's almost done what's your name yeah it's done so uh, let's run this one so let's take that not so much high and let's format our code a bit yeah done and then uh, cd advance and then in advance there is a file name libraries so dot space libraries dot dot that is dot space the file name dot dot and let's hit enter so what's your name my name is cyan not so let's enter yeah hi cyan not how are you so this much for this video uh, in this video i've talked about that how to take user input using the libraries of dot I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have really enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe our channel because I will be posting this content in the future also so stay tuned guys and I will be talking about libraries in flutter also in depth so stay tuned and uh, consider subscribing and share, you, uh, share, share this video with your friends and if you haven't joined our whatsapp group I will link that in the description so join for any kind of help or assistance so till then, bye-bye, take care.